Good morning Enduro fans and look at this view. We've got Cairns Moor Fleet there, some haze but the coast is there, you can just about see it on a clear day, you can see out to Ireland. And this big lump of granite here is Craig Nelder. And just up there, that uh, sign, that is the official start of this trail. A thousand foot of glorious granite. I've just pedalled up on my e-bike, taken a couple of minutes to uh, to get my breath back and uh, we're still on less than 20 minutes and 3.7 mile from my van to here. So it's a nice, basically up until this fire break, it's a nice easy fire road climb um, because this first bit's a bit tussocky we're probably going to start here uh, and even if well, it's still a little bit tussocky we might start a little bit further down at the first rock but we'll see but anyway there's a full course preview coming from katie katie chaos she's the local so no better person than katie to do the course preview um but i thought i'd do a slower speed run down here and talk you through this because you probably want to watch the video to see what's coming up so that you <laughs> only need to do <laughs> one practice run uh, on the day so as i say we'll probably start just down there and i'll say this isn't a uh, full speed run this is a run to show you what it is it will be a 10 minute plus race stage i'm expecting to get down now talking you through it in around about 13 14 minutes but we will see so we're starting off on the moorland section i say a little bit tussocky we may start just down here but actually, sending the race down here <laughs> will improve these tussocks <laughs> for the future. <laughs> so maybe we'll make you uh, deal with the tussocks. Or well, we might start here. So big granite is going to be what you're expecting. Obviously on a thousand foot of glorious granite, there is a lot of glorious granite. It'll be a bit easier when it's taped to see where you're going. Obviously I know this stage. Cut over that rock. Oh, nearly missed the corner. Into Katie Rocks, now the last rock here. I have to manual off to not catch my e-bike motor I'm not going to embarrass myself doing that on the preview some people may take the inside line and rock drop that but not me Whoop. oh I'm offline
Oh, so that's the top section done. And now, this is where we've had to do a lot of work, reinstating this track after the harvester. I don't know if the camera's showing how steep this is. But there we are. I got through all bees burn into the big rock causeway. Oh, I missed the jump off the end. Again, not embarrassing myself on the preview. More rock gardens. Here we are, clear fell. Look at that, more rocks. High line here, corner, another rock garden, Lomi Bend. Another rock slab. More rock slabs. Now this bit, we may get this rideable for the event. Over there, we may neutralise it, and it takes one minute to walk this. If we do manage to get it rideable, we'll hopefully get it a little bit better than it is, <laughs> then it'll be a full stage. If not, you will get two minutes, maybe, to walk this one minute section. Being that this is a 10 plus minute stage, I think quite a few of you might appreciate a little walk to get your breath before you drop into the big lion slab section. <coughs> so, if we do neutralize it and restart it, these two stumps will be the restart and that is the start of the lion slab section. The first little slab of the lion slab. This is the next big slab. Half a built berm. Into the forward. So this is another big slab. You should be used to riding big slabs by now. Oh, you're supposed to go that side. So anyway, the B line is a long way and some of you may even have to push bits because we've not had time to like make that into a trail. 
but basically anywhere here up to them rocks you can drop onto this slab line yourself up with the exit and away you go I'm not going to shortcut across them logs, but you can into this little drop. <coughs> into Keith's Causeway. We're now like three quarters of the way down into this soft bit. And then into the dark woods section at the bottom for the final quarter of the stage. Gap jump here, beeline with no gap to the side. Again, not embarrassing myself, showing you how shit I am on a bike by trying the gap jump and failing. Final rock garden. Only a couple more turns now. And there's the finish. One more rock garden to get back out. So I don't know how long that took me. But we've now done five miles. And what were we? 3.8 at the top, one and a quarter miles, two kilometres, thousand foot. Anyway, enjoy that on race day. It's an absolute corker. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Enduro fans.